Hi there guys, welcome back to another truly magnificent episode here on Alia Homes. Today we're exploring a beautiful listing in Bishop's Court. We're nestled between Kirsten Bosch Botanical Gardens and the Constantia Winelands just in front of me. You're going to love the home today. A little bit about the property. We're sitting on a 7,448 square meter lot. It's listed at one million rand, six bedrooms, seven full bathrooms, space for 12 car cars, I cannot wait to get started. But before we do, I'd like to thank the listing agent, Dune Cosats, for inviting us back out to Cape Town to get this on the market for you guys. All right, let's begin the tour. All right guys, I wanted to begin the tour out here on the driveway. We're midway up the drive. Down for me is a beautiful gravel path that leads to the full security hut, uh, security house and gates. Moving this way, you can see the beautiful architecture of the house. The architect is actually a world-renowned Chilean architect. His name is Louis F. Mira. Check him out, beautiful designs, minimalistic, clean lines, and as you can see, beautiful facade. Love the retainer walls, the nice hedging, low hedging. We've got two pools outside the front of the house. They're saltwater pools. They're not for swimming in, but they're beautiful features. And this driveway does lead all the way down to the garage. The garage ha can have five cars in, and on the exterior part of the drive here, you can fit an additional five cars. But to be honest, it looks like you can fit way more than that. So if you wanted to host, quite a few people, the cars could actually be lining up all along here. All right guys, let's step over this hedge and walk down to the front door. Now this stone, this is a very, very special limestone which the owner chose. Correction, this is a red sandstone from Rajasthan and not limestone. I do correct myself later in the tour. Which the owner chose from India, from Rajasthan. So this is a Rajasthan limestone. Once again, I mean sandstone. Used in ancient temples in India for thousands of years, and it continues from the exterior of the house throughout the entire interior and the exterior on the other side. It's a beautiful stone. It reflects nicely with the landscape and the mountains. It's truly really beautiful. All right, guys, I think it's time for the big reveal. Let's step on inside. Stepping on into this truly magnificent art piece of a home. It's magnificent in here. The stone continues again. The torque paint that's been used matches the limestone and the landscape in the mountains. Stepping out to this very beautiful, tranquil lily pond with beautiful landscape in the back. So I want to talk about the structure of the house. It's very well balanced. It's perfectly symmetrical. Each wing is a reflection of the other, which is, of course, a fantastic architectural design. Limestone flooring flows onto this stucco flooring. Before we check out the garden, I want us to actually move back inside to check out this Inform, uh, the formal lounge area and the sliding doors behind me, which open up and tuck right back into the wall. Just giving you the perfect indoor, outdoor living experience. Lovely limestone flooring again, the uh, top color, the limestone wall. You've got the wooden fireplace, great space. Moving this way, I want us to check out the first bedroom on this level, come with me. This is really the guest suite. I love these rose features they have. Before we check out the passageway, I want us to actually step into the first room. So this is the first room. Down here is the walkthrough closet, but let's step into the bathroom first. So throughout this house and in all the bathrooms, we're going to see a lovely copper, uh, copper finishes on the taps on the, all the little uh, details. You've got the water closet over there, and I love this bath, so check this out. It's also made from the limestone, and it's actually a sunken bath, so it's lower than the floor, easy to step into, easy to step out of, and it's just like really beautiful. All right, come through. Lovely clean lines. This is the first suite. This is the guest suite. So they have garden access, pool access. 
Upstairs, there's four bedrooms. This is one bedroom over here, and we've got another one downstairs, which they use as an office right now, which we'll see later in the tour. Again, with the doors that slide right out and over here. Also, because let's say your guests wanted a little outside area, but more privacy, these doors close as well, so they can have this as a little conservatory, so to say. All right, guys, stepping out of the room, let's check out the garden and then work our way around to the dining room area. 25 meters, half an Olympic size. Perfect for laps. It's a salt water heated pool uh, with solar panels on the roof. The solar panels actually heat up all the water in this house. Uh, we've got boreholes that supply water for the entire home as well and generators. Just like it's so crystal clear. It's reflecting the landscape. I can see the mountains in it. I can see the sky. Another very cool feature about this home is no matter where you stand inside, you can see a reflection of either the water surrounding the house, so you've got your water on both sides, or the mountain or the sky. So no matter where you are, you're in touch with nature and you can see beautiful, beautiful reflections of Table Mountain, the sky, water. It's, fan it's absolutely fantastic. All right, let's move this way. Again, it's an exact replica of the other side. We've got a fire barbecue over here, and there's actually another one on the other side, which I forgot to mention. All right, stepping on inside, sliding doors again, which go all the way from the dining room down and tuck into the walls here. The, obviously the paint job that they've done flows beautifully with the interiors. This is the informal seating area, TV room, got a TV there, and it flows nicely into the kitchen, which we should have a look at. Beautiful Long Island. Again, the colors stay balanced. Check this out, you're going to love this. Walk-in fridge, commercial grade walk-in fridge. So you can fit everything in it. This home does have two freezers, which we'll get to in a moment. Moving down the kitchen, look at this beautiful copper oven. It's from La Cornu, which is a top French brand. They make some of the best ovens in the world. Plenty of space for a chef to come in and whip up meals for plenty of guests. Yeah, I do want to show you the powder room real quick, so come with me. We're back in the entranceway, the, the foyer's over there. So the powder room starts off of the kitchen. And as you can see, the sandstone continues throughout this space, really lovely, including the double vanity and the lights fixtures above, beautiful warm LEDs, which contrast really well with the darker tones of the home. Overall, lovely guest powder room. All right, let's head back into the kitchen. All right, stepping back around, talking about the floor to ceiling windows, magnificent. Moving this way, this is actually a scullery area with a service entrance, back entrance, which has got the garage and the driveway, which we saw earlier. Moving this way, sliding doors, tucked in. Look at this space, beautiful dining room. Very long, very long table, beautiful solid wood. I love this space, it's truly beautiful. You could look at the size of the garden, looking at it now from here and the size of this table, you can host so many guests here. This home is perfect for entertainment. And look, check this bar behind me. Beautiful bar with the LED mirror backdrop, lovely marble top. And I love that these doors close, creating your seamless look if you wanted to do so from both sides. Very nice bar, beautiful dining room. Now, here's an extension of the bar. This room's something unique about this room, which you ought to know. Firstly, you've got a fridge and freezer here ice machine, you've got the sink with the lovely copper finishes again, but this room is actually a cavity which goes all the way to the roof for a lift. So they don't have a lift installed in this house right now, but if you wanted to install one in the future, you can easily do so because the structure is already here for it. Stepping out of this extension of the bar, walking through the dining room, and we're back in the foyer. From this foyer, the views from here are amazing. The ceiling height, it's so grand. I love that we can look up to the second floor and you've got the balcony which goes across. Let's step back this way. So let's just go through where we are. To my right, we have the guest suite, which we saw. To my left is the kitchen. And I'm gonna take us back this way towards the guest suite because there is a set of stairs which is going to take us downstairs. Come with me.
To my right is the formal lounge area and fireplace. I love how open plan this house is. Coming down the stairs, noticing the beautiful LED strips that they're using. It's a lovely warm color, which works perfectly well with the darker tones of this house. Now, this is the most phenomenal entertainment area. We're gonna start with this room, which you're going to love, all of you are going to love. The cinema room, how can you not love it? It's really big in here. You can have plenty of people, massive screen, soft carpets, and you've got popcorn machine which smells like it's definitely recently been used because I love that smell of popcorn, I can smell it. Full fridge over here. So you've got like a mini bar area basically, which uh, serves the cinema room. And we come down this way. I want to show you something else. So behind the cinema screen is another passageway. Now this leads to a room which we're, we're going to explore later in the tour. But over here, it's a hollow wall. Why? Because behind here is actually space for a nightclub. Fortunately, right now it's just being used as storage, just as big an empty space because they realize they've got teenagers and they didn't want to distract them or encourage them the wrong way. But the space is there for a nightclub and the entrance way is there for a future use, which I think is pretty cool. All right, let's wrap around the cinema room, head back out and explore the other entertainment zones on this level. Just love again how everything's color matched. So now we're back here. And this is of course my favorite room of the home, the wine cellar. Stepping on in. I love the stones that they've used. These white pebbles, they're like glistening in the LEDs. Great effect. You can fit hundreds of wines in here. And I love how it wraps around and there is another walk-in fridge but it's for wine which we don't have access to right now but you've got a fridge it's perfectly temperature controlled in it as well so this is a great wine cellar i love how it's encased and caged in by this glass this and uh the iron bars giving it a really really cool effect now moving this way let's talk about this you've got a professional uh poker table soft furnishings this is really nice. And just on the outside of this space is a Japanese Zen garden, which we're gonna explore in a moment. All right, guys, let's step through this door. Another really cool feature, which you're going to love. Flip of a button. This is a rainmaker. Quickly get through before it starts. Hopefully I can make it back. White cobbles. And you'll see in a moment, it's just so beautiful. It's the most Zen experience. And of course it leads right into your Zen garden. Uh, Japanese Zen garden, beautiful trees to my left, massive space over here, which you can probably put something else, kit it out with some tables and chairs or umbrellas, something like that. And here we go. How amazing is this? Oh my goodness. Quickly get through. Check that out. That's like the most peaceful thing I think I've ever seen in any of these homes. This is phenomenal. A home rainmaker. And that's the steam room of the spa. So that's the spa over there, which we're gonna to get to in a moment. And it leads out to this rainmaker. This could be like the most peaceful experience you could ever have at home. Like in the, yeah, in the heat of the day, in summer, you can experience like, like beautiful rain. It just like sounds amazing on the white pebbles. All right guys, let's head inside this room. So firstly, that's the back entrance to the cinema, which we saw just now. Foosball table, and I love how even the foosball table and everything in here has been color matched to the rest of the house. This is a sh professional shuffleboard, which I think is so cool. Never see this in a home. You've got a shuffleboard, foosball table, those doors lead to another storage room with generators, boreholes, and your water tanks. Now, let's go down. It gets better, guys, it gets better. The limestone flooring continues down the stairs. Again, the torp paint, and check this out. You've got a gym, ample in size, and a squash courts, a professional brand new squash courts. Awesome lighting, 
let's just review what we've seen so far in this entertainment space. We've had a cinema room, which is grand in size. Possibility to have a nightclub, it's not there yet. The most beautiful wine cellar I have ever seen. Professional poker table, rainmaker, foosball table, the shuffleboard, a gym, a squash court, a zen garden, and we haven't even seen the spa yet. But before we get there, let's just go through here. This is like game cupboards over here. Uh, I know they've got equipment in this one for the squash court. Of course, you can have more dumbbells in here, uh, more anything else for your gym. And this is like a mini bar. Uh, you've got a fridge to keep some fresh cold drinks for yourself. All right, come on guys, let's go back upstairs and check out the spa. <laughs> that is just so cool, I can't get over it. All right, come on guys, let's step on into the spa. Now, this space we're also gonna cover quite slowly it's very tranquil in here. Uh, the, I love the ambience and the amenities that this bar has to offer. Come with me this way. So, this is the first room we'll check out. Uh, Walk-in shower room, quite large, rain shower head above. You also have um, another faucet. It comes out like a water fountain, which is pretty cool. Nice basin in the center. Again, using the same limestone, which you find the Raja, Rajasthan limestone, which they use for those temples in India. This is your water closet, quite basic. Lovely LED lighting above. Step on out. This is for linens. You've got your linen closets here. And this room is the salon. Uh, so this is where you would have your hair done or your nails, your pedicures, your manicures. Really nice space again. Moving across so this way. Beautiful steam room, again with the limestone throughout, lovely basin, copper finishes again throughout the spa. Very large steam room. So, and over here, this is really cool. So you've got a cold water plunge, which is great. Um, you know, I'd love to start using cold water plunge. If I had one, I'd use it. But this can also be turned into a jacuzzi at a touch of a button, you can heat it up as well. So it can be uh, freezing cold or super hot, so it would be up to you what you'd like to utilize it for. But the spa doesn't end, right? So there's more, a beautiful bed setting over here, overlooking your beautiful garden. Just beyond these trees is the uh, Kerstenbosch Botanical Gardens, which is one of the best in the world for botanical gardens, and it's on your doorstep. But to be honest, you don't even need to go there because your garden is full of indigenous trees, which we'll get to in a moment. So lovely bedding, the pool is above us as well. So let's say you've gone for a dip, you're coming downstairs, you lie on your bed, maybe you're waiting for your massage therapist to come around, or your beautician, or your hairdresser, and you can lie here in the meantime, or maybe you can sit in one of these pods. And here we've got spa fish. These are the fish that uh, eat the dead skin from your feet. It's really therapeutic. It's used in a lot of spas around the world. And I think it's just so cool how they've got this lovely freshwater waterway. The fish are live in there, as you can see. Um, we've got crystal stones below. It looks like you might have quartz in there or rose quartz. I just think this is so cool. You can sit here, have your feet done by the fish, uh, go into your steam room, cold plunge, you've got your rainmaker. Oh, it's just so lovely. Love this space. All right. And of course, the doors open right back. And over here, we have another jacuzzi. This is a uh, the controls are just under this flap salt uh, chlorine jacuzzi um, again powered by solar this is amazing beautiful spa and then just look at this garden but before we go into the garden i want to take us to the office which is just down here above us is the infinity edge pool table mountains table mountain to my right i know there's vineyards beyond me there we're in the most like uh, beautiful uh, we're in the most green area of Cape Town right now at the back of Table Mountain, the back of the 12 Apostles on this side. It's just so lush, super lush. Stepping into your home office, this is actually the sixth room of the house. Behind this wall is a pull-out bed, uh, making this the sixth bedroom of the home because it is an ensuite as well. Right now they've got it as the home office, but of course 
if you have guests around or you don't work from home, this could be a lovely tranquil spot for them. The limestone flooring continues. You've got the tall paint on the walls, the LED above. It's very nice. Coming through, you're gonna love this bathroom. Built-in cupboards over here. And I love this marble. It's a beautiful full vanity, single vanity with a mirror backdrop. I love the lights. And this marble continues on the floor and the walls. Just beautiful. And the faucets have that polished copper again and on the railings, the shower head. Just really, really cool. Uh, through this door you should know is the storage room with the generators, the water boreholes and your water tanks. All right guys, so let's step out the bathroom and the office. Just look at these sliding doors. They just tuck right into the wall. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. And explore the garden. Another lily pond. And look at this pristine garden. Beautiful, beautifully hedged. All the plants are indigenous. And these trees here in the center, which we have quite a few of, are an indigenous paperbark acacia tree. Really lovely, they're called paperbark because the bark is uh, it's very thin like paper. And just look how, look how big your garden is, it's beautiful. Looking back at the house now and the infinity edge pool. Goes beautifully down, like it's just done so well, the landscaping and the trees beyond. But Chris, I actually want you to come here and look back at the house to see the beautiful architecture in the facade. This is truly a masterpiece design. It's, absolute, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it, I would want to take it and put it in a museum. It's definitely like a piece of artwork, how it blends in with the landscape. It just like sits here so well on this massive lot, 7,448 square meters. And you'd think to yourself like, what would you do with all that space? How would you occupy it? What rooms would you do? How would the layout be? Like, will it just be a big, massive garden? But as you can see, they've done it so, so well. The layout, the landscaping, it's truly magnificent. And the pool is above us. I'm gonna head upstairs to the second floor so we can check out the other bedrooms and the master bedroom suite. I'll see you there. All right guys, we're back in the foyer and I think it's time we take the stairs to the next level. Beautiful staircase with the sandstone again, LED strips lighting the way. I love these glass railings going up, which continue on the balcony on this level all the way down. And of course, remember there's symmetry in this house. So the other staircase is exact repli replica, just creating a beautiful ambience. All right guys, I think we should go check out the first bedroom. As soon as you walk in, you notice the floor to ceiling bay window bringing beautiful natural light, blue skies above, the lovely torp paint throughout. You've got the limestone flooring which continues in this bedroom as well. So these shutters actually open and close, which is a very clever idea. Uh, so you can retain the privacy um, whilst bringing light in. But of course, they also open all the way, which I'm gonna get to in a moment. There we go. <laughs> so do, they do open and close. All right guys, so you've got the built-in cupboards over here and the centerpiece bed in the center of the room, which is quite nice. Again, facing the back of the property, nice and cool in this room, big bay window. Coming into the bathroom, you've got mountain views to my left. This window is actually a door that opens up slightly, bringing some fresh air in. This room is fully air conditioned, just remember. All right, single vanity, large mirror backdrop, moving this way. You've got, you've got your walk-in shower, rain shower head above, um, the nice LED inlays around on the ceiling, and the copper finishes, which we've seen throughout the house. And of course, you have your water closet here. All right, guys, let's head out of this bedroom and have a look at the other two rooms on this wing of the top floor. Follow me this way. And I think we should check out this room first. So look at the height of these doors, absolutely massive. Another beautiful room. This one has a private terrace with that gorgeous view again of Table Mountain. Really nice. 
And I think I've been saying limestone for a lot of the video. I just want to confirm with you guys, this is a sandstone. I may have said limestone and I do apologize, but it's definitely sandstone. So again, it continues here. We've got these really cool shutters again, which can slide open, you play with the lighting in the room to it however you'd like it. Beautiful built-in wardrobes behind. And again, the centerpiece is the bed. So you can wake up, enjoy the view and all of that. Sliding doors that tuck right in, which is, um, which is brilliant. And let's check the ensuite. Full automation, beautiful bathroom. Again, the copper, the polished copper is lovely. It goes really well with the dark tones of this house. And the bath, which we saw downstairs, is here as well. It's set a little bit lower than the floor. Really nice square bath. And those, that window opens all the way up, bringing fresh air from the outside and beautiful view beyond. The water closet is just over here. All right, guys, let's step out of this room and check out the third bedroom. Loving the LED strip inlays above me. A little bit bigger with the, the walk-in wardrobes, a little bit bigger here. Very different layout in this room. We've got a copper uh, furniture set, the bed here. But the, these, again, these windows just open all the way. So it might not have a terrace, but ugh, why do you need a terrace when essentially your, about, your room is the terrace? Basically outside, so yeah, fantastic. It's beautiful out there. And the bathroom. Again, single vanity with a sandstone, mirror backdrop, LED inlays around, square bathtub, a little bit sunk in. Those windows do open, bringing fresh air and the shutters for privacy and the copper finishes again. Uh, the water closet is over there. All right, guys, let's head out of this room and head to the other wing on this level. Come with me. Just look how grand your balcony is up here and these windows. These are the windows we saw on the outside of the house, which go right from the bottom where the pool starts all the way to the roof. Fantastic. As you can see, all the light flooding in and we're about to walk past, I think, the pinnacle of this home is this view through these huge sliding doors in the foyer. Unbelievable, unreal. Okay, let's walk down. All right, so we're about to explore the master bedroom. Come with me. So this has two entrances, this room. We're coming in from this side, which leads us right into the walk-in closet. Again, with these lovely shutter uh, features, which are great for privacy, letting natural light into the room. As you can see, it's a great space, but it continues. It flows this way on both sides. In the center is your water closet. So you've actually got a bidet and there is a copper urinal as well to my left and coming through. This is the most special part of the bathroom. So two fantastic features. Firstly, you've got his and her single vanities with the sandstone again, private terrace with an outdoor shower, lovely copper fixtures, uh, fixtures as well. But let's just talk about this book match marble backdrop. It's an onyx marble and it's slightly transparent. So there's LEDs at the back and I'm gonna, we're gonna try to stay till late enough where it's dark because apparently at nighttime, it's just absolutely beautiful with the LEDs in the back. And because it's slightly transparent, this marble wall, you can really see like the, it's just like shining through. It's just beautiful and it just flows so well with the uh, copper fixtures that they've chosen. So uh, overall, I love this open plan shower with the marble backdrop and the bath. Again, like lower than the floor. It's just, uh, it's so unique. And look at your view that you have from your bathroom. Absolutely amazing. All right, so stepping into the main part of the bedroom, I just want to point out these doors do close fully if you wanted to close off the space from the bathroom and stepping into the master bedroom. So, I mean, grand in size. It's fully air conditioned. All rooms are fully air conditioned. And just look at these windows. They open all the way, lying back there. Wake up to that view. Extraordinary, absolutely beautiful. So again, sandstone and the colors of the wardrobes. It's lovely. So this is the master bedroom suite, very large, and I particularly like it very, very much. Now, this is the other entrance to the room, which you'll see back at the upstairs balcony. And I want to take us upstairs to the rooftop terrace. Come with me. 
LED strips. Again, so you can use it for nighttime. They do have lighting upstairs. I don't know if we spoke about it, but there is a surround sound system in the house and it connects into the garden. There's speakers in the bushes, so this house can really come alive. It's perfect for entertainment. And again, with this upstairs uh, rooftop terrace, it's fully cladded. On the floor, it's decked. It's beautiful. You've got the indigenous plants around. Let's come this way. You can see it's like set up to be for like seating. So you can have sun lounges there, an umbrella, maybe table and chairs. You can probably set up a barbecue station either here or on the other side. Overall, this is an amazing rooftop deck. You've got your solar panels below and on the left hand side there. But of course, the most magnificent part is the view. Wow, it's so beautiful on this side of the mountain. It's so different to the Atlantic seaboard on the 12 Apostle side. It's much more lush here, it's a lot more green. Um, and that's, that's because actually the clouds, they, come, they usually come this way in winter or springtime. And before they get to the other side of the mountain, which where we're usually doing our video shoots, they sponge off, so to say, against the mountain. And all the moisture lands on this side of Cape Town. And that's why it's so lush here. And we've got the, uh, your, you've got Kirstenbosch Botanical Gardens like right in front of you. And there's vineyards around. It's just so beautiful, the scenery here. The landscape's pretty amazing. And uh, just the mountains, I love it. So yeah, this rooftop terrace is phenomenal. Goes so perfectly with the house. I love it. All right, guys, I will see you downstairs. Right guys, that does wrap up our tour today of this most exclusive listing behind me here in Bishop's Court. I love this arch the architectural designs, the facade, how it blends in with the landscape. It has been beautiful. Another reminder, it's listed at 100. And if you'd like to purchase the property, please send me an email. Our contacts are in the section below. I'd like to thank you, Cosats, again one more time for inviting us back out to Cape Town to get this on the market for you guys. All right, if you have any comments, drop them in the section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.